Hi, YouTubers. Something important. So I want to talk about something kind of damn important right now. This is going to go both on Instagram and also on YouTube. So essentially, what I'm talking about right now. Uh, now, most people know I made a video yesterday. I think a lot of people have seen it about my new Instagram account because there are certain things I can't post on YouTube anymore. And unfortunately, I can only post them on Instagram. So yes, please check out my Instagram account. It is, uh, you can find it in the uh, videos I produce and my channel intro has a link to the Instagram account. That's where you can watch my reviews. Anyway, enough of that crap. I want to talk about right now, a lot of people wonder, you know, hey, Smokey Essie, do you have any idea, because you're a pretty knowledgeable YouTuber, nice, Big ass YouTuber like the big ass cigar, and now I'm an Instagrammer. Is that even a word? Instagrammer? Is that even a word? I don't know. I have no, I have no clue. Uh, basically, because I use Instagram and Facebook and also uh, YouTube, do you have any idea, like, you know, why does YouTube, you know, as a company, and why does a lot of social media companies uh, dislike tobacco users? Like, why do they dislike tobacco users? And why do they dislike a lot of these um, in terms of like what they call regulated goods, which includes tobacco, includes firearms, includes a lot of other type of stuff like that. Like, uh, I think gambling is also included, uh, maybe porn. Why does YouTube even give a damn about this, you know? And the reason they give a damn and the reason why there's a simple answer and a long answer, I will give both both the simple answer and the long answer. The simple answer why YouTube cares, they actually give a crap about tobacco users or tobacco content creators or firearms content creators or alcohol content creators is because to put it simple, it's a liability. It's a legal liability, both civilly and criminally on YouTube. That's the short answer. And then the long answer, and I'm not gonna to spend too much time talking about this because I want this to be a relatively quick video, is essentially there are some people on YouTube, nice big ass YouTube, like the big ass cigar, who play by the rules and always comply with every YouTube requirement, no matter how crazy it might be. And then there are some people who are absolute idiots, absolute idiots who do not comply by any rules and you can't tell who who's gonna comply with the rules and you just can't tell which is which because there are too many users. I mean, let's face it, YouTube is huge. There's literally probably over a billion users and there's a lot of users, there's probably millions of users that upload content featuring tobacco or featuring firearms or featuring alcohol or gambling and or for example, adult content, you know, adult content. And guess what? There's a, a lot of people like myself who historically have always been a tobacco related channel and always play by the rules. You know, I've always only, um, you know, obviously only, you know, promoted my channel towards a over 21 or over 18 audience back when the legal smoking age was 18 years old. I've only ever, you know, talked to people who are over 18, over 21 and said, you know, if some, for example, some kid contacts me on YouTube and says, hey, Smokey Essie, I'm, uh, I don't know, 14 years old, I want to smoke a pipe. I'm like, no way in hell it's like, you know, no way in holy hell it's like, you know, I'm not going to, you know, interact with you. I could get in trouble for that. It's like, you know, yeah, there are people like me who always pay, play by the rules. I'm a good boy, as uh, Dunham, Dunhill Man UK used to say on YouTube. I'm a good boy. So, yeah, if you remember him from a long time ago, years ago, like over a decade ago, uh, I'm a good boy. It's like, but there are some people on YouTube, some total jerks, uh, for no exaggeration of a, of a better word, total assholes who do not play by the rules. These are people who are literally, as I'm recording this video right now, I'm not gonna mention names because that's against YouTube rules and against YouTube terms. And I know that for a fact, there are some people who are uploading videos in violation of YouTube community guidelines. Oh, just because there's a rule doesn't mean people won't break it. It's like, you know, just because there's a law doesn't mean that people won't break it. It's like, you know, of course, of course not. It's like, you know, uh, there's people who are uploading videos right now uh, that are glorifying, I don't know, tobacco, alcohol, firearms to a under 21 audience. Sure. There are people who are 
directly linking to websites that sell these products. And there are people who essentially, for a better word, pardon my French, fuck it up for everybody. Pure, plain and simple. They mess it up for everybody. So essentially that's your answer. There are some people like me and a whole bunch of other creators in the pipe and cigar community who essentially always play by the rules. And when YouTube says, well, we have updated our guidelines, now you're not allowed to, for example, link to a website, or for example, you're not allowed to mention a name of a website in a video, hence the new rules, hint, hint. Uh, of course I'm gonna comply. It's like, you know, of course I'm gonna go through my videos and comply. Not everybody does that. Excuse me. There's a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of jerks who will essentially flat out stick their nose and ignore YouTube or any kind of social media website for that matter. Uh, this doesn't matter if it's tobacco, firearms, gambling, porn, anything, any regulated good, they will stick their foot in the website's face and completely ignore it. And they won't essentially, they don't give a crap. It's like, you know, they don't give a damn. It's like, you know, they don't care. A lot of these are smaller time channels. I'm not, I'm not gonna be careful here because I don't wanna get in trouble. It's like, you know, but yeah, these are small time channels. They don't care if they get banned. It's like, you know, and essentially there are channels right now that are glorifying to a under legal age audience. There are channels right now that are, you know, providing, you know, tips and instructions that could be, you know, construed as encouraging you know, potentially criminal activity. It's like, you know, yeah, and that's why YouTube cares. That's the long answer. The short answer is it's a legal liability to YouTube. Any regulated good, anything that has a age restriction on it, tobacco, alcohol, firearms, gambling, porn, has a legal liability attached to it, both civilly and criminally. There are criminal penalties for providing alcohol, tobacco to minors. There are also civil penalties. So anyway, that's the short answer and the long answer. Anyway, bye.